Welcome to another segment with David and myself. Today we are going to show you how to be get into a triangle. You know, we were talking before about the bucket. Now we're going to get into the triangle. But before that, before that, I got to tell you, I'm a per, I'm a male that loves a good beaver. I'm telling you, <laughs> mm, happy Sunday. <laughs> show me a good beaver, and I'm there. And let me show you what I'm talking about. See, some of you already got this thing going in your head. What the hell is he talking about? This is a good beaver. Look at that beaver. Wow. Hey. Gotcha. All right. That was, I thought it was an entirely different beaver See, there. Uh -huh. Yeah. I knew that. You got me. <laughs> I fell into your trap. I had no idea where you're going with that. Nobody does. <laughs> This, look at, look at this. Look at that beaver. He's got the middle finger up oh. to the chemtrail. I didn't see. <laughs> and he's Canadian, eh? <laughs> That's awesome. Good Canadian beaver. Good Canadian beaver. Nothing beats it. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Chemtrails and carbon taxes, eh? Look, Canadian. He's a Canadian beaver. We can tell he's a Canadian because he's got his Canadian flag. And look at here. And he's got he's got the thumb there. So, yeah. you know, like, yeah. This one I like because he's got the middle finger up. Basically he's telling you what he thinks about the chemtrails. <laughs> 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 anyway, I gotta gotta give credit where credit's due. This was designed by um, byebluesky.com, Susan Marr. She's a genius when it comes to um, displaying art and creativity to get a point across. It's a simple message, you can see, you know, and it's basically tell. I mean, if you're Canadian, you get it, or you, you should be getting it. If you're not getting it, quit smoking the doobie and start, you know, breathing some chemtrail air and you'll, you'll know what's going on. <laughs> you know what? I think that even using the beaver is, uh, has multiple purposes. One of them being like, if a kid sees yeah. that on a billboard, hey mom, look at that, you yeah. know, look at that beaver exactly. kind exactly. of thing. That's... Like you gotta, now they're pointing attention, drawing attention yeah, to it. Exactly. So I thought it was a geni ingenious way she designed this. So again, yeah. so go to Bye Bye Blue Sky and, uh, you know, check out Susan Meyer's uh, information. She's got all kinds of information on chemtrails. She's got information on nanotechnology. She's got information on more gallons. She's got uh, she's got a broad spectrum of stuff on her site. Awesome site. Go check it out. Check, this is her handiwork. Her hair just has nothing to do with me. I mean, I did contribute a little bit, but she was the one that came up with the design. She came up with the pattern. Look at this. I mean, isn't that yeah. ingenious? Yeah, it's nice. Isn't that ingenious? It's a nice looking beaver. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I like a good beaver. <laughs> I had no idea. That's a good beaver. Look at that. Yeah. Even the beaver know that the bloody chemtrails are no damn good. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> what a way to start us off. Hey, I every every male, every normal heterosexual male enjoys a good beaver. Well, there you go. There's yeah. a good beaver right there. <laughs> okay. Also coming up April seventh through nine. 2017 we're going to be at the um, Canada's largest green living show up in Toronto I'm going to be there so tomorrow's going to be there Bernadette Green's going to be there Bernadette Green has gagged Canada she's spreading the information across Canada we're trying to get Canadians together and to create a lobbying group if you will Canadians all across showing concerns about the uh, elements in the air so when you get a chance if you can come up feel free to do so again the dates will be April 7th through 9 2017 okay just so you guys know all right last time we did a bucket the bucket was to put your feet in and for those of you who don't have a bathtub that's going to be the big thing but today we're going to build a triangle okay this triangle basically is just three boards uh cutting boards that i just glued with a uh, hot glue gun to create my platform okay now what we're going to do you're going to need a pair of cutters Wire, obviously, and magnets. Now, before we even get any further here, if I have to make this for you, after I show you this, this is going to cost you at least 300 bucks plus shipping from my end. The reason why it's going to cost so much is because I need you guys to start taking the initiative to make these things yourself. The cost for me to make these things are not cheap. To begin with, in Canada, wire is very dear. <laughs> so are the magnets. Okay, so... You're going to need about 80 magnets. What I found was 80 magnets. <coughs> These are the magnets here. Okay. They're just little, you know, tiny. They look like the size supporter. These are ceramic magnets. Okay. 
wire to any gauge, 10, 12, 14 gauge. But this is like your speaker wire speaker though, right? Wi yeah, yeah, speaker wire will work great for this. You don't need to go into anything elaborate or expensive, but you can if you want to, because it's, it's going to be your machine. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm telling you this up front, you know, so there's no hidden agenda. Oh man, you're costing. No, this is not my, it's a cost. It's a cost to make this. There's time factors involved and then material and then getting the material. So, Again, I'm showing you this so that you can make this, and then this is going to go into the bathtub with you. So you can put this triangle anywhere you want. And the reason why we're going with the triangle, because I was working with this, another associate or colleague of mine uh, up in Yugoslavia, and we're doing research on triangles and, and uh, fields, and the triangle will throw out the field far, further than the regular circular coil. So we've been playing with triangles, we're playing with pyramids now as well, and when we get to that, when we get that further developed, we will also show you the power of the pyramid, because those are four triangles, and they do all kinds of crazy things. Now, what you're going to do is sticky side up, okay, duct tape works great. So what I do is I <coughs> go around. You literally took cladding boards, like, yeah, yeah. and just, yeah. just glue them together, there it and is. I put tape on. Now, the tape basically there is just to hold it, but also to create a... Um, um, the ability to, because you got to slide this off afterwards, and that's where the fun begins, because you're going to put in a lot of wire. Anyway, so you put a sticky side out. That looks sticky, like sticky side out. Yeah, like where this side is the sticky. Yeah, this is. Oh, we're going to put okay. sticky side because we got to put the magnets on there, right? Gotcha. Uh huh. The sticky side out. Yep. Up here. Now what I do is I'll go two two layers. <clears throat> Why just about? Oh, I see. Okay. You're gonna do okay. Put the magnets, and then you're gonna then you're gonna fasten them in. Uh -huh. But you're gonna you're gonna sandwich the magnets between this tape. Right, exactly. It's kind yeah. of the idea. See, Dave got it. Now the rest of you. Now, <clears throat> for any of you ask me questions on this, no, you do not put the wires in the fluid. Okay. The wires that are going to be in, in the tub with you are going to be sealed in the triangle. So do not put the power part in the in the water. Not a good idea. You might get all shook up. Now, <laughs> might pop a couple breakers in the yeah. house. Yeah, or something else. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a rush. Okay, now when we're putting the magnets on, okay, first layer doesn't matter what you do. You can go two. Okay, shall they stick? Kind of <laughs> rocket science, yeah. Uh, might have to put a little pressure on them. Oh, yeah, they took the phone, they found this home. They found this home. ET, go home. So, are you, but are you sticking them with like, say, a pole, one pole fate? Are all the poles facing the same way? No, no, this is going to be what you want. It doesn't matter how you put the first layer on because the second layer you're going to put on is going to have they're going to be repelling. Okay, they do not, you don't want them to stick, you want them to repel. And I'll show you that as we get going. <clears throat> okay, so, I'm putting approximately eight per side. So, like I said, what I found, it seems to work really good. Now, the more magnets you put on here, the bigger your field is going to be, just so you know. And you can play with it. Now, this is going to be a godsend for some of you. Because some of you are so infected, and I've gotten so many emails about how bad some of you are. And as you can see with me, I'm again reducing mine. I haven't cured it. I can't say I've cured it, but I have definitely reduced my, my load in my body. I can show you my scars from this nano uh, disaster. Look at it, like I knew what I was doing. I grabbed right the right number. Okay. She's so, unbelievable. Now, right now we got. 24. Oh, sorry, 8, 16. Yeah, 24. Now we take the tape again. Okay, again, sticky side out. So, and I, because what we're going to do now is we're going to cover these magnets. Okay. Well, I think you, I might have done this before. Kind of, see? That's when I thought I was getting good at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something goes wrong. Okay, oh, crap. Okay, here we go. So, again, cover your magnet, sticky side up. Okay. 
and just tear it off. If you don't can't tear it off, get your magic knife out. I haven't had to do it yet, so okay. So now what I do is I'll pat it down, you know, like that. So now the magnets are in place, and now this is where it gets to be fun. <laughs> You have no idea the fun we're going to have now. Now what we're doing is all the magnets that you put in, you'll be able to tell is when you put the magnet here, if it attracts it, then you do, you want to flip it around. So this now is repelling. So I'm putting, uh, putting it here. Beautiful. See how it's the tape will even push up a little bit. Okay, so we're repelling. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, not attracting, repelling. <laughs> sure. And you'll pretty well know where to put it to because the the magnet will you know you, you, all you gotta do is put your finger on it and away you go and if you're off a little bit that's fine it's not the end of the world basically what we're going to do here is we're going to create a, a montage of fields i forgot to bring the compass down crap okay i'll have to get that afterwards to show when you put the compass inside, on, outside, it's anywhere, 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 outside, inside, and you'll see. It's gonna be like those plane movies where it's gonna start spinning around because it doesn't know which way is north. Yeah, it's, it, you throw the field off completely. Okay. So far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. <clears throat> It was a good thing you're not using those neodymium. Oh, ones. that would oh, be fun. They would be flying around here. Oh, yeah, that'd be fun. That would be... Uh, one guy, actually, I had a guy... What I did with this triangle is I, I have a group of people I, I associate with and work with. So I've sent out 20 of these... Uh, I sent out 20 videos, uh, and some of them actually made these things, and I got... so Because I wanted to get feedback, because I didn't want to you know, be biased or anything like that, because I'm seeing what these, these things are pulling out of me. See what I mean? There you go. Yeah. So what we may have to do, yeah, we have to, we're gonna, yeah so this is where I get the fun again. Where the hell did that go? There it is. Okay, so what you may have to do, okay, and you can do this. Okay, see how that's, uh, so you can tell they're repelling. Okay, so what you can do is you can take the tape, make sure everything stays in place. Just go over it, just like that. This way they won't shoot out or do anything weird. Pop in your weak spots. <laughs> okay. And again, you can figure out another way. Don't go for it. There's no, there's no, you know. The idea is we're going to get at least 80 of them on here, and they're going to repel each other. You think if someone were to hot glue them? Oh, you can do that too. It's up to you. You know, I don't think that that would do much to the radiation or uh, to radiation, the magnetic, the magnetic no, field. No, the only thing is that eventually we'll have to change the inside the wiring, and so when you hot glue it, that may be a problem getting that out. Okay. okay. Change yeah. the change the wiring. Well, because after a while, I mean, there is a there, yeah, there is a little opening, and, and some stuff will seep in. It won't cause a short or nothing, but again, you're putting it in salt, and salt will eventually break down the uh, it may break down the wiring. It's a possibility. I've had I've had to um, repair one, and um, I was surprised actually that it, it uh, that I had the problem I had. So because I thought I had seals, but make sure you seal it, seal it well. Basically, I'll, here, I'll flip it over. Well, this one's really a it's a shoot out there. Okay, here we go. Now if they're giving me a problem like that one is to that, okay. What you do? A little tape. Aha! Got you a little. Can't see what I want to say. <laughs> I don't think it's anything the audience hasn't heard yet from. Uh, you know what? Though, I do have other kids and I, I can just see it now. Their parents. You know that language. I got, oh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> you know my son uses that language. He never used that language before until he saw your videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, was he using the recipes at least? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if he copied the language, they will copy the recipe. <laughs> That's how you put a positive spin on that one. <laughs> See, it's been so long since I, you know, I've been in that kid thing. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm right in the thick of it right now. I know. <laughs> Wait we show you some other formulas. I gotta keep that one away from Dave. I have another nine kids, you know. <laughs> His wife would be shooting me. What are you giving him? <laughs> Can't stop. <laughs> 
and we don't have any money anymore. What do you want me to do? Go find a beaver? <laughs> <laughs> this is all male testosterone. <laughs> so don't get offended, you women. If you are, get over it. We're not here to please you. <laughs> We're here to please us. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, so I got them in there so they don't go shooting out. Still may, they still may shoot out. But the idea is, like you said, and like I said, it's you got to make them repel. And some will repel, and some will repel. So you can see the tape wanting to launch. Okay. Easy. Yeah. Again, if they're <laughs> off a little bit, it's not the end of the world. Actually, it'll, it could even help with um, creating the distorted field you're looking for. Crazy. Yeah, see? Apparently they don't like each other, these two. Oh, they got, and you got half the tape on there, too. Okay. I'm going to have to stick that. Okay, we'll fix that. See, there you go, bugger. See, they all want to, they all want to launch. So, what we'll do, hopefully, I tried. What I do is I'll push the tape in between the magnets as well. Aha! You're not going nowhere now. I have got gotcha. you. Oh, you little bugger. If, you hear, if, some, if, Sorry. if some of the language comes out that isn't uh, normal, normal English that you're used to, get over it. <laughs> get over it because, you, again, you will, you will be using that language when making something like this. <laughs> Trust me. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you 100%. Nothing in this life is easy. Nothing. Hey, like I knew what I was doing there. Okay. I just have one more side to go yet. Yeah. Okay. So, and again, push it, push the tape in between, again, to help create the stability. Okay, there we go. Now, there's always a side that gives you the most problem. So, let's see if this is the one. <laughs> we'll see if this is the one. Nope. Hey, maybe. Oh, well, maybe this is going to be the easiest. Yeah, it could be. Well, I'm going to hold my breath. Yeah. Murphy's Law could always... Have just, could have just janked it right there. Yeah. Murphy's Law always, you know, works. It'll screw up the worst time, worst possible place, worst possible area, <laughs> and a place where you can't get to to fix it. <laughs> Good old Murphy. Yeah. He must have knew about Japanese cars. They're <laughs> trying to work on one of those things. Talk about using the English language in a certain way. Hmm. <laughs> used to have an old um, uh, Pontiac Phoenix. Changing the spark plugs? Oh, boy. Never even heard of a Phoenix. Well, they were back in the 80s. They were the first cars that came out with that was, had the... Uh, Fuel economy because at that time, like the three cylinder car type uh, thing, it was, a, it was a six, but it was front wheel drive. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, to change the plugs on these things, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, hmm, this front, front three, no problem. All but five minutes. <laughs> boop, boop. Oh, the back, the back, no. three. oh, <laughs> you had to you lost... remove some manifolds and things. No, did no, you? no, no, we'd have to do that. Right. You lost a lot of skin. <laughs> Oh, jeez, eh? <laughs> Especially because you had to put a the spark plug remover, an extension, a universal, and another extension just to crank the thing out. Oh, so, some of the language was salt of the earth English. <laughs> <laughs> you know, especially when you lost half your knuckle. Mm. <laughs> okay, so we got two rows here going. So that's, again, uh, we're at 48 magnets. Enough. Okay, here we go. Right? You're gonna do another row? Yeah, you gotta. What? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we really want when you're when this thing's in the tub and you put this on. Okay, and I forgot to bring the other power supply. 
you can either use a relay or a flasher with your power supply and you will find that the output is incredible. And wow. wherever you put this stuff, don't be surprised if you see Elvis come out, literally. <laughs> literally. Okay. It, um, so f just for the sake of saving battery, Okay. Let's um, since yeah, we've already seen one row of it. We've actually seen two. So yeah, two rows. Yeah, yeah. Save, save the battery and we'll yeah. come back to it. Yeah. Okay. Besides, then I can start swearing. <laughs> and then I can help you. <laughs> Swear? <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> All right. Here we got 80 magnets covered, labeled. When you get yeah. to the end, spin it around for the. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So just so we can see. So there's your 80. Now, try not to push this on too tight because at the end you've got to get it off. And it's going to be fun. Yeah. So basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be pressing down on the triangle because it's, it's pliable. And if it collapses, no big deal because, again, you can always re-glue it and put it back together. But the, this is basically just a template <clears throat> frame. The only thing we didn't explain is that so we did another row yeah. of opposing magnets, but then in between them there's also... Yeah. Magnets now, exactly. just to mess up the field. Yeah, because we okay, because you're going to have when you do it the way I did it there. I mean, and you can you can put them in any which way you want. You can put them zigzag if you like, or how I did it in parallel, or you can put a straight line of them. However way you want to do it. The idea is you got to put the magnets on and put them in such a way where they're repelling. Okay, they're pushing out, pushing out, pushing out. You don't want them retracting. Okay, at least from what we've seen anyway. Um, and the idea here now is, uh, we got the magnets, now, the wire, the power of the wire. Now, use any gauge you want, 12 gauge, now we use speaker wire, now for those of us in Canada and, and US, okay, when you buy the speaker wire, what I do is I buy a big roll of it and then I split it, I take it, I take it apart. So if you get a 100 foot spool, you can actually get 200 feet out of it by separating the wire and then just connecting them. And then by connecting them, it's not going to create any, any any anomaly in the, in the thing anyway. It's not going to create a problem. You can you know do whatever with it. So actually I'm going to start off with the bigger thing and I'll use that at the end if I need it. Now, what I found is that when you get a hundred turns, okay, and you've got the 80 magnets, you get a rock'em sock'em effect. Now, when you start off doing this, have extra at least three to five feet extra, because you, you, cause again, this is going to go into a tub, and you want to be able to move it around, and you want to have a certain length of wire so that it's, it's not going to get, uh, you're going to pull something out of the socket or release something, okay? So you basically give yourself, uh, again, some slack. I'm going to give myself about four or five feet. What I'm going to do here, just so you understand, I'm going to put a rubber, I'm going to rubber band this because this will get in the way when you're wrapping. So, <laughs> and then more swear words. In the line. <clears throat> it's just the nature of how we do things, you know. If we swear, things work. If we don't, nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I'm doing is just I'm just tucking it underneath because this way, like I said, I got to work with it. Now, start off at the end, okay, and just. So you're going to do an entire spool? Oh yeah, around? easy. Really? Oh easy. Yeah. Wow. It's going to take, you want 80 wrappings, okay? Now, you can go 20, you can go 10, you can go 5, whatever you want to do, however you want to wrap this. But you, Okay, I found that to do this, okay, to do this, okay, I want 80 wrappings. I'm going to put this on the floor. Easier. Holy. So just so, as soon as we get the first tier, we'll, you know, you'll get the idea. And basically, see all I'm doing? This is all I'm doing. Now, it can be a little challenging when you get around the magnets, but it's okay. Just, just deal with it, work with it, you know. And you can use square magnets. You can use neodyme magnets if you... Uh, just make sure you want to put yourself for a challenge yeah just make sure there's no kids around use the neodyme because they will learn a whole new vocabulary things will come out of your mouth that you didn't even know were there oh man they're fun you know i got a, i got a couple of them up to, i got two upstairs are like 90 pounds they're damn near impossible to separate once you get them together and doing and if you play with neodyme again word of warning they will launch and i mean by launching is if you got two of them close together, they will go airborne. 
and they'll shatter. One will shatter the other one, or they'll both shatter. Now, if your hand happens to be in the middle, your bone is going to shatter. That's how strong they are. So, um, I guess just a quick observation about what you're doing, okay. or what you're using, I should say, rather, because you're using... So it looks like you're using insulated wire. Yeah. Well, so we're well, going to run a current through it. So you don't want to use something that's going to have water that potentially could. Well, I, even if you if water hits this, it won't short because again, it is insulated. Yeah. Okay, yeah that's, so, but yeah. you're not using bare wire no, or bare no, copper. No, no. You're using insulated, insulated copper. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. And again, hence, hence the speaker wire. Yeah. Speaker wire. What I found with it, it has just enough insulation to again protect it. But it's, uh, it seems to allow more of the field out. Now, you can use a regular 10, 12, 14 gauge wire, uh, you know, the AWG, you know, multi strand or whatever, or the single, it's up to you. I do this here primarily because cost. You know, it, wire is expensive in Canada. You know, we got three things that are really expensive here tobacco, which we grow in this country, but is taxed to death. <laughs> Alcohol, which anybody who has a still can make in this country, it's taxed to death, and copper. <laughs> well, they can buy stuff that's brewed here cheaper in the States than they can here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or you can buy Canadian alcohol in the United States cheaper than you can buy it here. <laughs> yeah. I, down the street, it's cheaper for me than to fly to wherever in the States and buy the same product. Yeah. So... Now, if you go to Arizona, alcohol is cheap. They even have sales. <laughs> Every corner. <laughs> sales oh, they do. Yeah. I, and I was down there. I couldn't believe it. You go, there are three party stores right in a row. And they all have one selling beer, one selling wine, one, one selling the vodka. Oh, hey, look. What a deal. <laughs> yellow ta Yellowtail wine in Canada is like something like, what, $15 a bottle. For the small 750 mil. Yeah. yeah. Down there, three bucks <laughs> on sale. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. So we count the wire. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We got 17 turns. So if I do it that way, okay, I'll make it 18. So it's gonna, probably going to take me about five, five layers because I got 18 turns. Now, maybe the next one I may go 21 just to comp, uh, compensate it. Next one maybe 21. So when I get to the third layer, I'll go just 20 and we're good. Right. So, but again, and it doesn't matter if they're if the if the numbers are not even either if they're off a little bit that's okay because by the time it's all said and done you're going to have one monster field going on here now same thing take the tape okay sticky side out you want the sticky side out see how it stays uniform because i'm using the sticky side this is why i'm telling you what it's going to cost you're seeing the amount of time and effort this is taking this is not a cheap venture to begin with, but it's a very effective one. And for those of you who are challenged with, the, with stuff like this, get over it. If I can do it, so can you. And I'm just a guy who knows some stuff. That's all I am. So, boom. Hey, like I knew what I'm doing here. So the tape right now is just going to keep the wires in place for, for the next for the, the next sex, so the next tier the yeah. next tier of wires is going to yeah. be and just you know where you go see look like you knew what you were doing yeah see look. all right nice yeah I know I have to bleep that <laughs> let that one slide <laughs> here I thought it was going to be me to the problem <laughs> see this is what happens when you get married. <laughs> It's a coping mechanism. It's a coping mechanism, yeah. <laughs> is that what you call it? I like that. I really do. Here I thought it was my uh, my sensor button is broken, but hey, I like that better. Coping mechanism. <laughs> okay. All right, so we'll uh, we'll check back in here in a little bit. Yeah, but All again, right. you see you see again, we're just we're just continuing wiring it up till we get a hundred turns on here. That's what we're going to wind up eventually having. And so when we get done, this thing's going to look really mongo thick. Okay. So anyway, David's going to pause it, and we'll be back after we get it, or get it done.
<laughs> All right, so we got to the end and we got the 100 coils. We got to change the wire because we ran out of wire, which is okay. Just make sure that when you connect the wires inside, you really wrap up with good tape, seal them really tight because, again, you are going to be dealing with moisture. I've never had a problem. Now, when we tape it, we're taping with the sticky side down at the end. Okay, because we want to now. And, and just to, I guess, clarify, like, so you did 20 across or 21 across. Yeah. You didn't cut the string. You didn't cut the wire or nothing. You just set it aside. Yeah, put it aside. Kept on Taped turning. it, yeah. and then you spun, you did the, continued the spindle. Yeah. Working backwards again. Yeah. Across. So basically, see, we're shiny side up. We still have another fun part yet. The other fun part now is getting this thing off. Getting what off? The triangle. Oh. You're still, still taking beaver, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can tell. <laughs> Good thing we didn't make any formulas today. They would be going home making babies. <laughs> Dave has become an expert on testosterone. <laughs> It's costing you a lot of money, <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun process. <laughs> it's a fun process. <laughs> Which his wife sees this. What are you talking about? Fun process. This is costing she's, us money. <laughs> she's she's in the other room, so I wonder how much she hears of what we're talking about <laughs> while we're because hey, while I'm putting the video together, she's uh, she's right in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> you still married? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, she's pretty deaf. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, mail, maybe it's all it's similar to the other talking I do. She just tunes it out. Oh, it could be. All that male testosterone coming through. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as you can see, we're just wrapping it up, getting all the tape in there. Now it doesn't have to look all that pretty yet, but we still got a couple things more to do. Initially, we're stopping the any chance of this thing coming un, undone on us. And, aha, okay, I think, I think we's are there. Okay, so now, take out the magic knife. I have to mention that every time we took it out. Yeah, this thing is, this thing is a celebrity in and of itself, the yep. magic knife. The magic knife. Yeah. Is it safe? <laughs> Remember when to hear that all the time? Is it safe? Is it safe? Yeah. Really? <laughs> are you safe? <laughs> safe is a relative term. That's true, yeah. Can't go outside anymore without some kind of activity happening. Is it safe? <laughs> okay. Now, this is the fun part. This is the exciting part. We have to take this stuff off the thing here. Oh, I see. So that's just a frame. The frame. Goes. Oh, geez. See? This is the fun part. Gotcha. Now, what I do sometimes is I'll step on this part because this is pli uh, uh, pliable. And that gives you just enough space to push this out. I see. <laughs> so, so when you get cutting boards, don't get the wooden ones. Yeah, no. Get, get gotcha. The plastic ones. Uh -huh. yeah, Look at you. <laughs> Look at the magician right here, revealing the secrets at the end. Actually, or do magicians not reveal? Well, it depends. Depends what they're trying to do. Look it out. This is, like I said, this is the fun part. Now, if you hear me swear or the odd word comes out, uh, that's just normal Mediterranean uh, language. Yeah. <laughs> It's so. moments like these where, where people discover why I'm behind the camera, not in front of it, because then I'd have to ply that off. <laughs> really, hey, nice. It's coming out pretty good, actually. Is it? Yeah, I'm, surpri I'm surprised. So you can bend it, right? It's When it gets caught up on the edges, that's when she gets to be a bit of a PIA. Oh, look at that. Ooh, like I knew what I was doing. Anyway. It's coming off, so you can see it moving here. Now you got to wiggle and jiggle. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Moving right along. We have to wiggle and the jiggle. Okay. Like I said, it this is the fun part right here. But it's moving. You can see it's coming off. There's the board, so you can see it. And you just got to be a little patient with it. Don't. And again, if you're you know if you're speaking Mediterranean, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I speak Mediterranean all the time, especially when I'm dealing with. Oh, look at that one! Oh, oh. So, I think here might be a good example. Jeez, should have mentioned. Did you mention at the beginning we should do this right near the edge? What? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I didn't do that, but that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do as close to yeah. the edge as possible because yeah. as soon as then, you get in the middle, then yeah. you're in trouble. Yeah. Well, you're going to be a lot more work. Well, I guess if you're only making one, then I guess you can cut the boards, but you could do that. Yeah. Uh... Oh, look at that! <laughs> 
like I knew what I was doing. <clears throat> like I said, if you screw up, trust me, you will be speaking a Mediterranean tongue. And people will say, what are you saying? <laughs> I don't know, it's Mediterranean. <laughs> <laughs> Man, look at that. this is coming out better than I figured. Look at that! Holy jumping! Like I knew what I would. There we go. There's our triangle. Dun 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 dun. dun. Okay, we won't need that no more. So I'll put that back here. Now, but what we're going to need is electrical tape. We've got to wrap this whole thing up really tight. Again, because again, you're going to block any kind of extra. Now, there is going to be two spots where. <coughs> Okay, where the wire comes out, pretty much, and that you're going to have to really, really secure. If you want to put a little glue or putty or something on there in that area, you can. I have not seen any issues with it so far. I've been using this thing for quite some time, but again, modify. This is not the end-all, be-all. We're showing you how a simple triangle can be used to create a multiple field. We did bring the compass. Now let me get this started. Uh -huh. and you can see here the indentations of the magnets. So you got magnets in the first layer, all the way up to about the third layer. Now, if you want to add more magnets to it, you can. Now, what I have found by doing this, here we go. Those of you who play hockey know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> you're wrapping up the stick. No, but you're wrapping up the triangle. Because again, and make sure you get her in. By the time you're done, it's going to look like a nice professional job. As you can see, what's going on. Now, if you want to test it before you get to this point, you can. All you got to do is plug in your ends, and away you go. I'll show you real quick. The plug. No. Well, let's let's continue with that for a bit, okay. and then uh, okay. we're going to swap here. Swap, okay. Yep. All right. So we're going to swap. So you're, you're going to do this all the way around. All the way around. Okay. If you want to double it? You can. It's up to you. Or you can take duct tape afterwards and do it that way. I use this tape because I can really get a tight, tight um, wrapping on it. Now, again, you can use duct tape if you want. Whatever. I like doing it this way. Uh, make sure that the wiring is completely insulated. If you do see any nicks, let's say you happen to nick the wire, make sure you really wrap it up tightly with tape. Make sure you seal it. You can even put a little glue on it if you want, or you can put even some um, nail, <coughs> nail. Uh, what do you call that? That shiny uh, nail, the poly nail polish coat on the wire if you want. You know, just so that it dries up. But as you can see, you're getting a nice. Now it's looking beautiful. Now it's looking. Now it's looking like it's going to do something. Here's where you can give it some character. Uh huh. Character. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> now you can see how she's coming along. Now, like I said, we're going to have this wire here because we need that wire to um, extend. So basically, I'm going to cover it here. Okay, and go underneath it, and then and go over it again, because like I said, it will, um, you will have, that's about the only spot where you may see water get in. If it's sealed properly, that's that's generally where it comes in. And again, you could after we get done, you can put a glue on there. You could seal it with, like I say, a uh, nail polish uh, sealant. Anything you want, you know, to to reinforce it. Like I said, I've not seen any problem with it doing it this way. But again, if you're feeling uncomfortable, then you know, again, modify it. This is not about you know. This is not the end all be all. This is not the only way of doing it. Like the guys that have been on the YouTube talking about using an EMP, uh, they've got it 30% right. They actually got on the right track. They are shutting off the program. 
The problem with that method is, unless you're stripping this out of the body, okay, because the nanoparticles are still embedded in the cells, and you've got, like I said, thousands of them in one cell, this is a heavy metal. This is the reason why it's heavy because of the high volume of the nanoparticles in the system. So as a result, you have to flush this out. Now, what the EMP is doing and what this does is they act like a degausser. They basically wipe out the program that's operating the genetics and the biology that's integrated with the nano. Because basically you're dealing with nanobiology or synthetic life. So basically when you wipe out the program, you do a mind wipe or an F disk on these things, okay, you still have to deal with the volume of material or else you're going to have, still feel the pain. A lot of you are feeling uh, a lot of pain in the lower back. The reason why you're feeling the pain in the lower back is because you have adrenal fatigue going on because your body now is trying to flush out all this particulate matter uh, through the kidneys. Now, give your kidneys a break by, again, taking these baths that we suggest, using the saline baths, which, well, which, um, will do wonders in regard to, um, I almost got away on it. Uh, it will do wonders as far as stripping that out. Now make sure you keep the bottom tier tight because the magnets will repel. This is another reason why you're doing this, to reinforce everything. As you can see, it's starting to look like a triangle. And again, give it a little bit of a a little stress, a little bit of tension on the, on the pull. As you're wrapping it? As you're wrapping it. And are you, are you going like, with each strand, are you going about 25% coverage? Like, are you, do you know what I mean? You're not doing them side by side, you're overlapping a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because again, you got to try to keep that sealed. Right. I mean? So right. basically, and like I said, if you want to afterwards even go and put duct tape over it again, you can, it's not going to affect the, um, the flow, the field. Uh, again, depending on the power and the amps you put out, is going to determine the, um, the strength of what you're doing. Look at that, man, like I knew what I was doing. I might have done this before. <laughs> A couple times. Like I say, the work on this is quite intense. Like I said, as you can see, so if you are going to ask me to do it, I am going to charge you, okay, just so you know. I'm doing this so that you guys can do this yourselves. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it, okay? That's simple. I'm just a guy that knows some stuff, okay? And you can teach yourselves things that the educational system uh, sorely lacked in doing. Now, you have to understand that just because you don't have a piece of paper doesn't mean you're not educated and it doesn't mean you lack intelligence. All a piece of paper indicates is you've learned to jump the hoop the way they told you. That's all it means and you spent a lot of money doing it. So teach yourself things. Don't limit your, don't limit your experiences or your education to a system that is designed to keep you stupid. That's simple. Now for you millennials, I have something for you. Some of you are graduating out of high school and you're now heading to university or college. I'm going to tell you something because they did the same thing to my generation, they're doing it to yours. You are going to take courses that have absolutely no value today unless you're into synthetic biology, uh, uh, nanotechnology, uh, nanobiology, okay, or uh, any kind of, of uh, technical stuff in regard to frequencies, quantum fields, or anything like that. Do not take anything in regard to the arts, waste of time and money. After five years, you'll be $60,000 in debt and no job. Like taking, for instance, something like something as stupid as political science. In Canada, in Canada, eh? We have political science curriculars here. Five jobs in the whole country with political science. <laughs> the odds of you getting that job, 10,000 students going for the same job, this is going to be slim to none. So I would suggest strongly before you go into that kind of debt, if you're going to borrow that kind of money, then I would suggest for you is start a business, start an enterprise. You're going to come out, you'll have money, you'll be making money, 
You're going to have to be dedicated and you're going to have to be disciplined and you're going to have to really know how to watch your money. But if you're going to spend fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, you could start a business. And it's not that hard today and you'd be better off as an entrepreneur anyway. Getting an education is great and wonderful. Only if when you come out of the educational system, you have a job or you have a career to go to, not that you're volunteering. I don't know how many times I've heard that. Oh, I got out of school and I started volunteering because there was no job. <laughs> <laughs> now you have all this debt, no job, and you're volunteering. In other mm -hmm. words, you're giving your, you're giving your talents away for free. Or you work shitty jobs. Or you work a shitty job. Yeah, okay. shitty jobs, shitty... Uh... Schedules, shitty, no okay. benefits, your contract work. Right. Contract temper. work is not bad either because contract work, you can write <clears> things <throat> off like you're, if you were uh, self-employed. But, again, the whole idea when you're getting an education is that when you get out, you have something to go to. Not volunteering. Oh, I volunteer. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're taking job, and, and you're doing a job that, okay, that, will, that you may have to evolve with in order to, to maintain. Here we go, look at that. While we're talking, encouraging people to become self-employed, we finished the triangle. Mm -hmm. Now, again, if you want to put another wrapping on here, you can. Okay, now, just so that we can see, I'm not even going to put the clips on yet. I'm going to now plug her in. Boy, the magic knife, because somebody will think I'm trying to kill somebody. Plug in. Plug in. Hey, there it is. Get your out. You I don't need. Aha. I knew what I was doing. But you're you're plugging the adapter in, but yeah. you, have you hooked it? We haven't hooked in the adapter. Uh, let me show you what we're gonna do. Aha! You're just gonna loosely wire it. Yeah, just just to test it out. Okay, we have power. <clears throat> there is the power. See the power? Okay. Now, just to make sure that this thing is doing something. Oh, I see. You've already got your little rig there. Yeah. Gotcha. So what we're gonna do? I forgot <clears throat> to put the power unit on there, but anyway, you'll get the idea. I think it's important to clarify too that we're not dealing with you're using that adapter specifically DC to, to put out 100 to dumb down 110 volts into yep. what is it 19, 12 19 20, volts 20 yeah 19 volts 5 amps oh man did I do this so that you're not going to electrocute yourself no no we're all we're using DC just so you know direct current oh man Here. see there's always something And this is something as simple as a lap of the adapter from an old laptop. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Okay. Cut the ends off and then... Okay. So now, <clears throat> see what's going on. Should be doing something here. Is it... Did it... Uh, We're still plugged in? Still plugged in, yep. Yeah. I feel the power of a magnet. Huh. Hey, no, got no power. No power. Why don't we have power? Unplug it and see if it's going to turn the light back on. No, we seem to have plug is still in there. It might be the, maybe the adapter. Oh, there it, it was. Is. Jeez. All right, just unplugged. There we go. Ha ha! Dun, dun. Look at the cool. magnet. She's a dancing. Da, da 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 Look at that. It's like we knew what we were doing. See here? See it? Going up and down, up and down. Magnus is doing a bink, bink, bink. Now, just to show you. See it? It's just bulking back and forth, back and forth, pulsating. Pulsating. See where it's going? Oh, repelling. Going toward it, she's still pulsating. Now she's pushing it away, all the way. Here, look at that, drawing it to it. Aha, see, both sides going in. And if we put it here, doesn't know what to do, look at that. Up here, down here, to the side, this side. Mm. So we got different fields going on. And if you're not sure, now, to make this, to boost this up even more, we're going to show you a little trick. Get an old car flasher, okay, 
with this kind of power supply, connect one end. What is it, an old car flasher? Car flasher, is it a signal flasher? Oh yeah. Yeah, they're about $7 a Canadian tire for those of you who live in Canada. Really, is that what that is? Yeah, no. Never, uh... Basically, I'm gonna create a mini EMP. Now watch the compass when I touch. See how, the, how much more powerful it is? Like it's moving, yeah. it's, it's slightly moving left and right, not just... She's just blowing it up. See, she's moving, gyrating. It's going up and down there, bouncing up and down. Again, she's up and down. Again, up and down. Isn't that interesting? Up and down. Okay. And even from there, she's moving back and forth and up and down. And that's from about a foot away. Now, is this thing safe? Yes, it's safe. Can you put it in water and take a bath in it? Yes, I do it all the time. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. Now, basically, you're going to use a power supply, use a flasher unit, or if you're going to use a relay unit, you can use a relay unit. You are going to need a resistor with the relay unit because, again, if you just run it back the way it is, it will short out. It will blow, blow the relay. So you have to, if you connect the relay, the same way you connect the relay, one part here, to your relay, the other part to the triangle, and or to the to the resistor, from the resistor to the other end of the relay, and then let it go, and you'll find that she will, you know, pulsate and gyrate. So now, with the finishing touches here, all we're going to be doing now in this regard is we're going to put on our alligator clips. So we're just basically testing it. Uh -huh. so basically, we give it a bit of a twist, twist and shout. Here we go. Basically, a little bit of a squeeze. Sounds like we're talking all kinds of innuendo here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but basically, everything has to do with some kind of uh, anomaly there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it all comes back to that. It comes back to that. Yeah. That's, because that's all we're really interested in. <laughs> That's why you're making this. <laughs> That's why I'm making this. No. Actually, you know what? The thing is, it's funny. When you're young, all you think about is hitting it like a snake. And when you get older, all you think about is what? your wallet. Oh, what yeah. kind of saying is that? I'm hitting it like I've never heard that. That's a, you know how I like cobra <clears throat> like hit? Oh, <laughs> I see. All right. <laughs> What's the matter with you guys? <laughs> Man, I'm telling hitting you. Hitting it like a snake. I got to use that somehow. <laughs> That's brilliant. When you get older, you realize that that snake getting effect costs you money. <laughs> so then you're more be... worried about the wallet. You know, when someone says, you know, what's the most important thing you need? It's your wallet. Mm -hmm. Talking about those millennials, right? When they tell me the most important thing we need is a cell phone. Really? <laughs> and how do you propose to pay for this? I know mom and dad are going to do it for you, right? Because yeah. you're living in mom and dad's basement. So, you're going to live in mom and dad's basement, like I said, borrow some money, start a business. So that one day you can leave the basement and have your own place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on the snake thing, sorry. <laughs> I had no idea what you just said there. <laughs> this is called a generational gap. <laughs> I'm going to tell them, like... Sweetie, I'm gonna hit it like a snake. You're like a snake. What? Bang. <laughs> she, Bang. she slaps me. <laughs> snake this. <laughs> snake this. That's the old. Oh know, my god, that's inner, awesome. That's the old inner city thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The group. Yeah. <laughs> oh I just, man. I just imagine the women now. What is he talking? What is he? What is he? My own. I can just see it. That's awesome. He's teaching Dave all these bad things. <laughs> <laughs> these are good things. You know, Dave hasn't realized that it's going to cost him. <laughs> cost, sorry? It's going to cost you. Gotcha. It will cost you. Nothing is free, especially that. So there was just something happening on the camera here where we're switching up the okay. colors. So okay. it was uh -huh. just odd. So I'm just figuring out if this camera's dying or what it's doing. It's a matrix. Dun, dun, dun. It's okay. Basically, just, yeah. basically, all we're doing is just, like I said, crimping everything together here. You know, and <clears throat> now, nanoparticles do cause biofilm. They get into the system and they actually uh, will, over even 24 hours, 
start to expand. I was looking at this the other day and how nanoparticles cause biofilm inside the body and outside. Okay, when someone says that the biofilm cannot be formed on the outside, obviously they do not know what they're talking about. You know, they've, um, if they've taken some kind of course, online course, I would have to really suspect the uh, information they got. Uh, once you understand nanoparticles and nanotechnology, nanotoxicology, you begin to realize that this has no, no boundary. None. And so a lot of you are feeling, you know, you're feeling like shit. You're feeling like your body's killing you all the time. You're in pain. You feel like things are walking around, creeping and crawling through you, and something feels like they're biting you. This is the material penetrating your system and, again, expanding its network. And when you have nanoparticles inside your body and on the outside, nanoparticles will produce a, re a biological reaction, an immune response, which refers to creating a biofilm. And what biofilm is essentially is a complex swarm of bacteria. And you'll have so many different strains of bacteria that will hit certain things. And they will, they will accumulate on top of a synthetic material. They love synthetics. Uh, anyone who's got prostheses in the mouth understands that version. If anybody who's had a, um, uh, uh, what do you call that? A, Denture? Uh, you know, you stay sticking in a, in a penis or in a urethra for um, peeing. Catheter. Catheter, yeah, yeah, I was thinking of it. Yeah, a catheter. Anyone who's had a catheter understands <clears throat> that as well. Those of you who have, uh, uh, who have things attached to their bodies, uh, I begin to realize that sometimes these things that you have spiked yourself with is causing a biofilm reaction. This is just part of your immune system, and the nanotechnology is using your immune system to flourish and thrive. Because once the biofilm is on it, it creates a poly polysaccharide protein that, it, that basically is almost impenetrable. And the only way to get it out is by either using a technology like this to shut down the nano part of it, or using some kind of either sapnin, uh, phosphorus, or an acid to break down or to disconnect it from where it's lodged. So some of you have seen stuff come out in your microscope, and some of you have seen these pictures with this gelatinous material surrounding these wires and these fibers. These are, these are nanofullerenes that we're seeing there, surrounded by a biofilm encasing, which then assembles within this encasing, using those proteins and those sugars to produce a network or a bigger fiber. So it, and it thrives and grows inside of you. We will, I will have that, if you go on my site, augmentedforest.com, or augmentedforest.50webs.com, you can click on the January 2017 and the February 2017 scripts, and you're going to see some information there, and, and uh, probably within the week I'm going to have on there a whole section on biofilm, synthetic biology, and the, bio, uh, the mechanisms for um, biofilm. And you can see in there, in the research, where nanoparticles can actually form biofilm, biofilm and the nanoparticles integrate with each other and then they spread throughout the system. And wherever the nano goes, so does the biofilm. So, this, when you take a bath, splish splash, you'll be taking a bath. You can see now we've added the ends to it. Okay? The same principle would apply as far as hooking up your, um, your power supply. Uh, again, we showed you that on the bucket, so if you go look at the bucket, you can see how we've made, you can make, basically you just get your uh, 19 volt 5 amp, splice the ends uh, at the end, and attach your uh, cable, and then all you got to do, just to show you real quick, you want to go direct, you can, you can see it flashing, or if you want to increase the pulse on it, <laughs> real simple, eh? Anybody can do this. Even you gals that write me all the time, you gals are, well, you know, I'm not a guy, and I don't know how to do this. This is not about guy and gal thing here. Anybody can do this. Okay? <clears throat> There's no gender bender thing here going on. You know, it, this is what it is. Anybody can do this. Just take your time with it. Don't be in any mad rush. Don't get frustrated. Well, you're going to get frustrated because you are going to swear a lot. I, I do it all the time when I'm doing stuff like this. But you can see. You can see the results. And even from here, from a foot away, you can see... The magnet bouncing. Trying to draw it to it. Now watch when we go over here. It's pushing it down, pulling it toward the center. So again, you got multiple fields going on at one time, and as a result, because of the multiple fields, it's going to have a wipeout. Now, as you can see here, okay, I missed the spot there. So basically what I'm gonna do is take the tape, go over it again. So you <clears throat> so you think this will 
Is this disrupting the program or is it killing the program? It's wiping the program clean. In other words, whatever programming it's getting, it's shutting it down. Uh, you're basically hitting it in some, so many different fields. It's like putting a magnet on a, on a cassette tape. Technically, or a, or a, like your debit card or yeah, your credit like card. That. It would just wipe out the program. Once the program is no longer uh, operating in the system, then what happens is it shuts off. Once it shuts off, then the body can discard the stuff as as uh, basically a metal. But, but like I said, because of the con concentration and the density of these particulates, because there's so many of them. Uh, your body can't flush this out. This is where sodium thiosulfate will come in. This is where magnesium uh, or Epsom salt will come in. This is where pectin will come in. This is where EDTA will come in to help again in the flushing of these particulates. You definitely want to be using things like magnesium and calcium, calcium in small amounts, uh, and even combining them with phosphorus so that they can help flush out the aluminum that you've accumulated. When you start taking these baths, it will take probably anywhere from three to five days before you see any real real release coming out because you've got a layer of polymer, polymer material just from the soap you've been using all your life. Even that has been hijacked. Okay, look at that. Like I knew what I was doing here. Now, like I said, you can you can put another layer on here of tape. It's not going to have an effective magnetic field. Like I said, you've got 100 wrappings of wire. You've got 80 magnets in here, which will, again create a, a whole array of distorted fields. That's what you want. You want a distortion to hit these things so it's hitting it up and down, right to left, sideways, kitty corner, whatever. So when it hits it, there is no chance of it trying to reboot or reassemble. You gotta remember, you are constantly, constantly, constantly reloading every day. Okay, you're breathing this stuff. We've had nanoparticles in the air since 1960. It's been in the food supply since 1970. The whole organic thing has been nothing but a farce. They were adding it to the food supply since 1970. In over four and a half decades, we have been consuming these things which have translocated throughout our bodies, which is now easy enough for these things to assemble because now we've got all these towers that are beaming frequencies that are activating these things. You can go online and you can see some universities where they actually uh, attenuate a frequency and you see these things just expand, start to assemble, start to take on different shapes. And by modulating the frequencies, they can create all kinds of things with them. They can create distortions, they can create uh, letters, they can create uh, images. And again, the same thing would apply when you are out there. Your cell phone is a conduit of transmission of frequencies. The Wi-Fi is in your home, your computers that you're sitting in front of, the towers that you're using for your uh, phones in the house. Anything that can emit a frequency, an EMF, an ELF, uh, RF, uh, these things can and will create a connection with these things. This is why at three, between two and four in the morning, nobody's sleeping because these things are going on, activating the nanotechnology in our system, creating a biofilm effect. It's again creating a breakdown on the body. As the biofilm flourishes and thrives, you have issues going out. Women having yeast infections for 20 years. This is un unheard of. Okay, the reason why you're having a yeast is not because you have an infection. It's because you have a biofilm build up right in the whole pelvic region here. Uh, in your whole reproductive system. And again, the yeast is there trying to break these things down and can't assimilate it or assemble it because of the technology which makes it, which repels it. Once you put that barrier around the um, technology, the biofilm, yeast can't get to it. So as a result, you excrete it. So when using this, are you sticking your leg through in the bath and the arm through in the bath? Are you doing and are you doing it everywhere? Do you do it for a few seconds? Do you have to do it for a few minutes? Put what, in there, uh, the bath usually should be a half hour minimal. Put it anywhere you want. You can put it between your legs, all the way up. Your credentials there. You can put it here. You can put it here. Don't leave it on the chest too long because again, you are creating emitting multiple fields. You can't, for those of you who have a weak heart, not a good idea. Just keep it below the waist. What about uh? What about uh? What are those things that? Pacers? Pacers. Yeah, again, I wouldn't put it close to that. Yeah. So you can put it on the side here. You can take a magnet with you in the tub and you can see how far the field is going. Ones when I, I use uh when I'm using a power supply, I'm using a seventy five amp twelve volt power supply and I'm using a relay for, for my system. And that it's going almost if I put it here you can feel the magnet all the way across. So it's hitting me all the way. Gotcha. So you can move it up and down. You know, you can put your head on it. Now, if you put your head on it, it will, and it pulses, uh, the next day you may have a headache from hell. 
because all those nanoparticles will be released and they'll be coming out of this part of your uh, neck here, maybe the back of your neck, uh, along the face, you'll be squeezing the stuff out. You'll see quantum dots, you'll see smart dust, you'll see all kinds of uh, barium titanate come out, you'll see uh, the fullerenes come out, you'll see different... Now, the deeper you go, the thinner fullerenes will be. At the surface, they'll be thicker. As you get deeper and deeper, you'll know as, as you're getting deeper into the layers of skin, you'll start seeing that the threading will come out weaker and smaller and it comes out more fragmented. Near the surface, when you pull the stuff out, I've had threads come out that long, about two inches long, just from one spot in my nose. Those of you who've got these moles and things going on in, the, in your face, that's because you've got a concentration, concentrated amount of these fullerenes embedded into your skin. And once you pull it out, you'll see those things go. And the easiest way to do it is paint iodine, layer iodine on the thing. Use a clarified iodine, basically get a Lugol's iodine, add a little ascorbic acid or citric acid to it, it'll clear, clarify it and then just put it on and you won't even know you have it on. So, but again, you can use this, you can do it this way, you can do it this way, you can put one leg in, one leg in, you know, you can go up and down. Again, just, even if you leave it between your feet, your feet are here, or, or you move it up between the knees, or between the thighs, you know, or, like I said, you can even put, put it behind you while you're in the tub. So now your arse is getting a, a release. Your arse is getting a release. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean gas either. Okay. <laughs> so there you have it. A simple little device. You can put it in the tub. We were, t we were talking about that earlier. Uh, about putting stuff in the tub uh, and we figure maybe big coils, but that would be too expensive. This is an inexpensive way of doing it. And then, like I said, if you ask me to do it, I will charge you. Okay? I am showing you how to do this so you can take the bull by the horn, just so that you, my time isn't tied up in making these things. If I have to, I will, and I don't mind doing it, but you are going to pay. <laughs> That's simple. Okay? These, uh, these videos that we do, we do as pro bono to help you guys out to, again, resolve these health issues and so that you can be free of these things okay this pay attention to the beaver <laughs> see the middle finger what's he pointing to his health no those lines in the sky okay and he's canadian look at that he's got a red he's got a maple leaf canadian dun, dun, dun. see and now look at this guy he's he's in shock He's probably he's got probably got a nanoparticle up his backside. Look at him. He's like, oh, he kind of <laughs> look Canadian as well. And look at him. Ooh, chemtrails and carbon taxes. Hey, eh? I mean we're getting screwed in Canada on that carbon tax thing. If you don't understand what that is, we're paying for other people's pollution. This is what's going on. America's pollution, we're paying for it. You know, Russia's pollution, we're paying for it. Yeah, you know, we're paying for it. <laughs> nice of us, eh? To take us to shoulder the responsibility of these nanoparticles of the planet. We're paying for it. <laughs> Yay! Did you get that? See that? The beavers even know that this shit's no good. <laughs> Follow the beaver! <laughs> it didn't come out right, but anyway. <laughs> no, it's perfectly legible. It's good. <laughs> All right. Any other questions, Dave? No, I think that's... Uh, I know that there's going okay. to be a ton on the comments, but... Yeah, there will be. Again, don't tell me it doesn't work. Don't tell me... Don't give me your comment, because I'll just delete you. If you're that stupid and you're that afraid, seriously, find another channel. The Disney Channel is more for you guys. You know, <laughs> that's more for you. And those of you who are turnips, I call it turn I don't call you guys trolls. I call you turnips, because you always try to come and distort the facts. Go and look at the movie, Shrek is Life, Shrek is Love. That's for you. You know, it's about an alien screwing a nine-year-old boy. That's more your mentality anyway, because a lot of you are, that's what you are. Because a lot of you are, I mean, these, these turnips are really weird. So I give them, I send, and so I, you know, I, I do what the Bible says. I answer a fool according to their folly. They're wise in their own eyes. So I send them to these things so that they can see what I think about their, about them. Not much. <laughs> Not much. Okay, so again, there you have it. This is another tool in your arsenal that you can help that will help you alleviate, especially those of you who have been suffering. Uh, some of you have uh, already sold one or, one or two of these things, just so you know. I've distributed, and people have made them already. I've had people in, in, in Europe making these things. So again, it's not hard. It's not hard. You can do it. You can do it. Seriously. Don't let anybody bullshit you. Don't let anybody lie to you. Don't let anybody, I mean, people are going to lie to you, but don't, don't listen to the lie. There's nothing you can't do once you set your mind to it. Okay. That's the way God made us.
All right, till the next segment, to your health. Now you're going to become anti-nano. See ya.